Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Angry Eating. Today, I got a new video for you guys, and basically, today we're going to be checking out the difference between patterns, template parts, and sync patterns. These are from the WordPress documentation, so this is probably the best uh, reference that you could find for this from the original uh, WordPress. All right, so of course, it's saying that in WordPress 6.3, they renamed reusable blocks to patterns, so that would give you an indication of what a pattern is as well as a sync pattern will behave in exactly the same way as a reusable block. So template part, basically template part is an advanced block that can be used <coughs> like we already made, like the header and footer. It supports template editing that if you saw the, you're going to actually see that in the home video, we're going to be editing like a template part on its own. They often come with the theme and they're also used to organize and display the site structure. Of course, you can read more about the template part in this article. And the sync pattern and the block pattern, basically, the sync pattern is just like the reusable block. So it's a reusable block that's reused all over the theme. So it's a block pattern that enabled sync op option. The synchronization option basically means that if you update it, it will update in each and every page that you have this pattern. So as you can see, editing the sync pattern will update it anywhere it is used. After creating a sync pattern, you can detach it to a regular block. This is, of course, if you want to make like a regular template and also without affecting your already saved sync pattern. So if we want to use this as a block and not update it each and everywhere, like say, for example, we have like a dark and a light page and on the dark page, you have this as a pattern and in the light page, you don't have this as a pattern. So we just want the light page to be a block so we can detach it from the pattern, save it as a template part, and then, of course, keep your old sync pa pattern. So that's how it's basically used. Uh, of course, we can check out also the block patterns, which is a uh, block patterns are basically just a collection of predefined blocks. So block patterns are going to be uh, explained in the next video in the home.html. At the end of the video, you will find me selecting a whole pattern. And that will just add in the home.html. That is basically a block, a block patterns, all right? Which is just a collection of predefined blocks <coughs> that can be inserted into posts and pages and then be customized with your own content, of course. All right, so here's the table to compare the different options to each other. You have the template part, you have the sync patterns, you have the patterns. So template part is related to the site structure sync patterns is user content and patterns is of course as well user content so this will also show you exactly how the difference between these three are syncing ability they're all synced except the patterns they're unsynced all right you can make synchronized patterns of course when you select synchronization on creating a pattern template part is for example a footer you don't want to change your footer on throughout that the website so that's why you would use a footer as a template part of course if you want to update it throughout the website later on you can use the pattern or also you can use the uh, template part so these are examples for it as well so that is pretty much it you guys so you can also read more about the uh, best use cases for template this article is pretty important so i would advise you to read this and then going into the create uh, home.html just to understand exactly the difference between these three all right so this was angry to you guys i'll see you guys in the next video and peace you guys